FOX9's Paul Bloom talking about the stabbing trial, Apple River stabbing trial as the suspect took the stand himself today. And this was certainly a very big moment in the trial so far. Let's bring in FOX9's Paul Bloom right now with more on this. Paul, walk us through exactly what we know. What did he say? And was it expected that he would take the stand in his own defense? Yeah, Lexi, thanks for having me. Yes, we absolutely believed and were told during opening statements that uh, Nikolai Miu would eventually tell the jury his side of the story in most self-defense cases, certainly in uh, where we are in Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, but this uh, this occurred just across the, the river, the border over in Wisconsin, uh, typically a, a defendant uh, claiming self-defense. Uh, will take the stand, and that is exactly what happened today. Nikolai Miu, now 54 years old, he has been jailed ever since uh, these stabbings uh, occurred during a beautiful summer day outing on the Apple River. Again, over in Wisconsin, St. Croix County, Wisconsin. It's a county that borders the state of Minnesota, just outside of our immediate metro area. It is a popular draw for young tubers who, let's be honest, like to party, like to drink, like to have fun. And there were some young tubers out there that day, but also the Apple River is a slow, lazy river uh, that families go out on. And someone like Nikolai Miu, 54, he was out with friends and colleagues himself that day. And then there was just this combustible, combustible interaction uh, between two birds. Alcohol was involved. Uh, it became physical. Miu had a knife in his pocket. He pulled it out. He ended up stabbing five people. Uh, killing one, a teenager by the name of uh, Isaac Schumann, uh, a teenager from nearby Stillwater, Minnesota. He injured four others, A.J. Martin, Riley Madison, and two brothers, Tony and uh, Dante Carlson. They survived their injury, so he's facing a slew of counts, uh, murder, and then attempted murder. A conviction on the top count of first-degree intentional homicide would send him to prison for life. So, so much at stake for Mr. Miu today on the stand. Let's listen in. When you felt the pain about your throat, did you see anything that refreshed your memory about what caused that pain to your throat? After watching the video, yes. Okay. What happened? I got hit in the, in the throat. Do you remember that now? Yes. If I can. Showing you the slides 2993, 2994, and 2997. Mm -hmm. Is that you? Yes. What's happening to you there? Somebody is going for my throat, squeezing my throat. Do you remember how that felt? I felt pain. I couldn't breathe. I'm scared, afraid. And showing you the next set of slides here, 2998, 99, and 3000. What did you think was going to happen to you in that moment? The whole time I, I, I felt like I was going to die, so he, uh, basically I feared for my life. And in response to that, here's slide 3000, did you do something in response to that? I reached out and, uh, and stabbed him. When you used your knife, and again, this is open-ended. You can ask it any way you want. Did you, were you trying to kill somebody? Absolutely not. Um, what were you trying to do? I was just trying to defend myself. And Lexi, it is important to note there that is direct examination from his own attorney, trial attorney Aaron Nelson, Hudson, Wisconsin-based attorney there doing the questioning. He would face a couple of hours of blistering and challenging uh, questions uh, from the state on cross-examination. He was on the ropes. Uh, he survived. Uh, how the jury takes us all in. Let's, we'll have to wait and see right now where we are in the case is uh, both sides have, 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 um, have wrapped their case, have, have rested. Uh, they were working on jury instructions late today. They're going to come back tomorrow morning, figure those out, and then closing arguments first thing Wednesday morning. And then this jury uh, will have the case and will be on verdict watch probably by lunchtime Wednesday. One other point I just wanted to make is, as people might not be totally familiar with the case, uh, there is a three and a half minute cell phone video shot by one of the the the, the young men's friends, who, the, 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 the general, young man who died. His good friend, uh, Juwan Cockfield, uh, is on the river. That 
that day he has a cell phone it's in a lanyard you know like a water protective lanyard and he shoots three and a half minutes of that encounter but that the lawyers have done you may have seen there and uh mr Miu's testimony is they they're going frame by frame it's three and a half minutes it was described as about 4800 individual still shots uh throughout that video and they really uh try to hammer down to each and every millisecond to, to get responses from witnesses and from Miu, and, and that's what you saw there, very specific uh, still frames taken from that three and a half minute, minute video. Uh, so once we get to the jury, that video and Miu's testimony today, that will be everything. What this jury does, again, the potential for a life sentence if Nikolai Miu is convicted on that top count of first degree intentional homicide. We'll, of course, be watching it all week as we wait for a verdict. All right, Fox 9's Paul Bloom joining us here with that update. Paul, thank you. We'll talk to you soon. You bet. Thank you.